HD, incredible comprehensive information all through the Brain Saver books. I just want to read a little to you real quick. Here's what ADHD isn't genetic, it's not genetic, and it's not gut related. Neither of those popular explanations addresses the true underlying causes of ADHD. So in here, I talk about how the midline canal right there, so there it is, the midline canal, you guys, you take a look, right here, this section here gets filled up with particles of toxic heavy metals. They actually fill into the midline canal right here. Then as you get older, the brain pushes together and seals up the midline canal right there. Then the metals get trapped in that canal, making it harder for them to be removed unless you have the right things to use, the right information, the right protocols. So ADHD is a compilation of mercury and aluminum. So I'm going to go into the book a little bit right here. So I'm reading out a brain saver. I'm excited about this actually. So what really causes ADHD is mercury and aluminum settling in the brain's cerebral midline canal, which divides the brain's left hemisphere and right hemisphere, along with some additional metals. So here's the other part that's interesting. So ADHD isn't just the midline canal and the metals settling into there. It's also metal sprinkled about throughout the brain in different areas. So it's kind of like that Christmas light, Christmas tree effect going throughout the brain plus midline canal with the metals. And that's important to know. It's the same cause as autism as well. Same exact cause. The difference though is just like anybody's differences with ADHD or autism, depends on how much metal, how much is settled in the midline canal, how much is also sprinkled about in the left and right hemispheres. When these metals take up residence in the midline canal, they block internal communications within the brain. As a result, the brain must adapt. So what happens is communications inside the brain is blocked from the metals. You've got electricity going through the brain right here. Everybody has a certain amount of electrical current going through. Some run hotter, some run cooler, some intense is really intensified depending on what's happening emotionally, what's going on in our lives. But either way, we have this electrical grid running through the brain. And then the midline canal being filled with mercury and aluminum and mercury and aluminum being sprinkled about within the brain, communications get interfered with. So when these metals take up resonance inside the midline canal, there has to be adapting. We need that ability because internal communications within the brain get messed up. So let's read a little bit more. This is why you often find a child with ADHD behaving in one manner when you're asking them to behave in another. The evolving domestic chemicals children are up against and adults are another problem all on its own. So let's go into that. So not only... Do we get the mercury and aluminum inside the brain and that interferes with communication because the electrical grid is hitting them. So let's hit that area to talk about that. So as electricity is traveling through the brain, it's hitting these mercury and aluminum deposits. When it does, the actual electrical current ricochets or gets derailed into adjacent tissue throughout the brain. This makes communication difficult or focus and concentration or so many other different uh, symptoms along with it. When it comes down to it, aluminum is more present than mercury in many ways for some people and then mercury is more present than aluminum for some other people. You guys, I'm reading out of Brain Saver. We're just talking about ADHD. Now in this book here, Brain Saver Protocols. Now remember, I don't know if you guys know this is because I was talking about this the other day. That's one big book right there okay and it had to be broken into two huge books right because it was too big to publish this is brain saver protocols so let's go into this section here brain saver protocols and adhd is right here in one of the protocols now that's just one part of this book 300 symptoms conditions in here and then there's the brain shock therapies 
You guys, when you apply the brain shot therapies, it's a new medical medium tool that's in these books. You will be so impressed at the instant relief of the brain shot therapies, which is a therapeutic tool. It's a medical medium tool inside the brain saver books. But hey, when you have them in your hand and you check that out, you'll be like, whoa. So let's go into this a little bit longer now too. We'll, we'll take another look. So I'm in symptoms and conditions right here inside, inside, inside brain saver. Symptoms and conditions, that's where I am. So right before ADHD, it says addiction. That's one right there. Then there's ALS. Then there's anxiousness. Then there's Alzheimer's, anorexia, anxiety. There's autism. There's Bell's palsy. There's brain fog. There's bipolar disorder. There's balance and dizziness issues. There's brain inflammation. It goes on and on. 300 different symptoms and conditions. And seven heavy metal detox cleanses inside these books. Seven heavy metal detox cleanses inside these inside these books, which is really incredible. So back to ADHD. So what you'll hear often out there is it's genetic. And what people don't realize is that toxic heavy metals are passed down from generation to generation to generation. That's how it's done. So in the womb, in utero, we take metals on. That's what happens is as a baby, we actually absorb metals inside the brain from the family line going back further and further and further. 500 years, 700 years, a thousand years, generation after generation after generation, toxic heavy metals are passed along the way. And then we pick up new toxic heavy metals and then we as adults pass it on to the next generation. So what you'll see out there now, and you'll find that a lot more children are getting ADHD, a lot of adults too. And it's worsening out there because more metals, including domestic metals and inherited metals, are getting into our children and adults. And it's being passed on generation and generation, also gathered here every single day. As these metals get into the brain, it interferes with communication, the electrical grid. And some people have it worse than others. That's why there's the scale is so huge. That's why the scale for autism, the scale for ADHD is so big because there's so many different variables. Where are the metals? What kind of metals? How many of them are they deposited? Are they just sprinkled about? How much metal is in the midline canal? All of this changes everything to behavior, to the symptom condition, focus concentration, to understanding information, to being able to communicate and talk. All of it changes to the how hyperactive, how not, like all of it matters and changes as far as the metals and what kind of metals and where they're located and how deep they are inside the brain tissue, especially if there's a large amount in the midline canal going across within the brain. So you guys, this is just one little piece of Brain Saver and the Brain Saver books. And hey, books are going to be delivered soon. So lock down one when you can. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.